So what you're looking at is a house that I've been called out to take the top off. Not the whole house, but just from the foundation stays, the floor cap stays, everything from there on out disappears, gets loaded in dumpsters. We're gonna walk you through this process. We're gonna break it down for you and teach you how you can do something similar like this in your own company. To take the top off a house really isn't that difficult. It may sound complicated, but it's not. What you do have to have is access all the way around it because you can't technically drive through the house. Normally when we demolish a house, we drive right through the middle of them. No big deal. But when we got to save the basement, we got to save the floor cap, you can't do that. So you've got to be able to get all the way around it. In this case, we have limited access, but we have enough access that we can get an excavator with a thumb. That's what we're going to use this time. And not, if, not a big excavator, just a medium-sized machine. We're just going to reach in and grab parts of the house, pick it up like you're playing one of those uh, machines that you got to you get the candy out of them or get the stuffed animals out of them. You drop it over into the dumpster, drop it off. Literally, that's as easy as it is. So in a proposal like this, we break it down into how many hours we think we're going to be here. The dumpsters in this case will calculate how many dumpsters are needed and multiply that by how many hours. That's going to be the basis for our proposal on this project. Now we come to the back of the house and it's been obvious that this house was on fire and they're doing a fire restoration claim but you can see we've got a big yard to work in. So our excavator can nicely saddle right up to this foundation of the house, cave everything in, swoop around to the front of the house, pick everything up and gently set it in the dumpsters. The foundation will stay intact, the main floor cap will stay intact. We've done these in the past where we've actually had people live in the basement while we're removing the house above them. Of course, we ask them to vacate the premises while the house is actually coming down, but all of their worldly possessions are safe and secure in the basement while everything above it comes tumbling on down. So the way we're going to bid that job is we know it's going to take about three days with an excavator with a thumb to grab that house, pick it up, and throw it in the dumpsters. Typical house will be two to maybe three 40-yard dumpsters. We know the cost of those dumpsters. Multiply three by the cost of whatever you can get your dumpsters for. We know it's going to take about three days max to uh, take that house down, so calculate 24 uh, hours by whatever rate of pay you want to get for the machine you're going to use. Now if you're using a smaller machine, it may take you a little longer and you'll have a, a lesser rate of pay. If you're using a bigger machine, you may get through it quicker. Now in this case, um, we estimate a little bit on the high side for time simply because we've got to secure the lower level. We can't have any issues with that. So um, we like to make sure that we have enough time put into the proposal to cover our own selves. Uh, the other part of the proposal, which is a smaller portion of it, is the mobilization fee. It costs money to get an excavator out to the site and back. So we'll add an allowance in. In this case, it's about two, 250 bucks is what we usually put into the proposal for moving a piece of equipment to and from a site. So uh, the total proposal will be one mobilization fee, 24 hours times the rate of pay that you want to get for whatever equipment you're using, and uh, the cost of three dumpsters. There's your proposal. Break it down, put it together, send it off to the customer. That's how we're going to do this job. Hope that helps. Have a good one now.